Hey y'all, welcome back. Hey, uh, we're getting down here. See if we can get Sarah another deer. Uh, she's on bucks. I'm on does. But uh, we got in here a little after daylight. We actually have three bucks over here fighting on the other side of the property line. Doesn't see a doe and a spike. So we'll try to get some footage of them right quick before they head off. Maybe we can get lucky. So y'all hang tight. chasing grunts and then the buck roar the frustrated buck roar and then I threw another uh, snort wheeze at him well I think that last snort wheeze got him he turned and like I said he can't hear me where I'm at now but he turned and he's going all right uh well we just had a bigger buck show up
Well, that was an eventful month. We end up seeing uh, the same doe and yearling we seen at daybreak. They came back out about 9.30, milled around a little bit and went back in. Uh, as y'all seen, that's probably the biggest full point I've ever seen in my life. He might have been a six. We didn't go back and look at the video, the footage. Uh, if it was, he's broke them off or he had little to no brow ties. But he's definitely a beast of a deer, big old body deer, heavy mass. Uh, don't have a trail camera picture one of him. we would never seen him. Then, uh, so we had the two does on the hill, the three bucks barn. We made that big and mad. He'd come this way, and as we were doing, telling you what was going on, expecting him to come out of the woods over here, the other big and come out over here. So I'm sure they run into one another somewhere between point A and point B. Uh, but that just goes to show you late season. Uh, snort ways. I mean, I, to get him to come was, was pretty hard. But we're going to pack it up this morning, leave everything set up. We'll take the camera and the gun, and we're going to come back this afternoon with afternoon movement. So Sarah's got all day to figure out whether she wants to shoot that four point if it comes through. But uh, she's picky, uh, as you've seen in her other episode. But uh, uh, years winding down. So, I mean, he might be a great buck next year, and then again, he might eat good this year. So, y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. y'all well me and miss sarah easing back in we seen another rub we're really interested in this late season rut activity so we got a camera so we're gonna go back in here where she seen that monster four pointer this morning and we seen another good buck over here on this ridge so we think they're betty within a hundred two hundred yard i mean 200 300 yards so we're gonna slip in here and put this camera out and get in the stand so hang on stay with us
He shouldn't have walked back through here. center chest. We won't know till we get home and pull it up on the big screen. But uh, we found meat at impact, within a few feet of impact. And as many of you hunters know, you've either made the mistake, or I have, I've made a mistake going and pushing them and pushing them on other property and not finding them. Uh, I've also 
you know, got lucky and been able to put another one in them. But in this situation, we had meat at the start of the hit. He barely bled for probably 30 yards and then he stopped and he bled a lot and it was bright, shiny blood. Then he went about 10 more yards and stopped and it was thicker blood. Well, when I stuck my finger down to the leaf and picked it up, you know, it stuck to my finger, which is clots. So he started clotting, which means we've got a pretty big vein that he's clotting up on. Uh, tracked him probably a total of 80 to 100 yards and he was going downhill all the way and uh, he's getting really close to the property line. So it's gonna be a sleepless night. I know for Sarah, but uh, you know, we had Daddy O, uh, Kimberly, <coughs> me and Sarah was on a track, so I just told them the best thing to do is us back out and uh, just head home, get a bite to eat, look at it on the big screen, see if we can figure out what's going on, and come back in the morning. It's 41 degrees right now, it's supposed to be 29 in the morning, so. Fingers crossed, he beds up and we get back at him, so. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. We'll pick this up in the morning. Hey, y'all. Well, we're headed back. It's 7.50. We give plenty of time for the sun to come up. Uh, it's a real foggy morning. Uh, after reviewing the footage, I'm about, because it was kind of dusty dark, so it's a little pixelated. It wasn't. If it had been in regular daytime, it would have been, you know, better. But uh, best I can tell, the impact looks like low brisket or maybe right front leg, a little bit in the cavity. Like I said, we can't pinpoint it like we could if it was in regular daylight, but we're pulling back in now, um, take our time. I've got uh, Kimberly's with us, of course Sarah's here, and Daddy O's in the back, so we got a good crew. We're gonna go in here and see what we can find. I'm sure that a lot of the blood is froze over, so, uh, it's going to make it a little hard, but we're going to give it a shot. So y'all stay tuned. Yeah, we got good blood there in here. All right, we're back to where the hit was. As y'all can see, blood's kind of shiny and some of it's thick too. So there's some more right through there. So we're going to go to the place we had last blood. Hopefully... We'll find him. Well, after an hour or so and 400 yards, hour or so walking 400 yards, we have no doubt that this buck is not mortally wounded. Uh, he actually ran most of the way, then started going uphill and jumping fences. And once he calmed down, uh, and slowed down, I come across six scrapes that had blood in them. And you could tell where he had overturned the leaves. So he made, he was checking and making scrapes. And then we get to looking and we find this, which was this morning. One started here. And then he's been here. So both feet the only thing I can figure from looking at it, it looks like it was probably, there was a little bit of meat at the first of the hit, so it must have went in through thin skin, uh, down by the brisket and out the right leg at the angle he was, so. Uh, Sarah's okay. She's still got a buck tag. We're gonna be looking for, uh, we're gonna be checking trail cameras and uh, I'm sure we'll see him again, so maybe we can update this video, but we'll make a video on this one. But, as always, we thank y'all for watching. This is just something maybe somebody will learn something from. We probably should have took a little bit more time and um, maybe zeroed in a little bit better, let them get broadside. So, but we all make these mistakes, and uh, I've made them, and most of the people out there that want to admit it's made them too. So, uh, uh, it's just one of them things. That's why they call it hunting and not killing, because it's not always easy, and it don't always turn out the way you want it. So, anyway... Thank y'all for watching. God bless, and we'll catch you on the next video. Deer season 2020, it's about to roll over.